Mexico City, to wink at the New Orleans Saints' rise, they bellowed when the Saints go marching in, doing their best, if slightly accented, Louis Armstrong impersonation. Half arguing, like fans at a bar, they assessed the best football coaches of all time, pointedly leaving out one visiting here this weekend, Bill Belichick. And, even thousands of miles south of the United States border, the lowly Los Angeles Chargers could not escape some lumps for failing to fill their small, temporary and noticeably empty stadium. Nuestros Amigos del Podcast Padrian Linar S.A. Estadio, joked Ulysses Harada. Our podcast friends could fill that stadium. Maybe he wasn't kidding. Harada is a host and founder of Primero Y Diaz, or First and Ten, a collection of morning zoo-style podcasts, filled with songs and zany sound effects, about all things NFL. Its online programs, Cousins of the Men in Blazers mode of coverage, are some of the most popular in Mexico, reflecting an unabashed devotion to the sport that has helped persuade the league to stage and promote games here. Primero Y Diaz began as a blog in 2008, run by Harada and a friend, and has mushroomed into four podcasts, with a paid staff of 12 and, it says, 5 to 7 million weekly listens to its programs. Primero Y Diaz has grown in sync with Mexican interest in the NFL, accelerated by the regular season game here last season, the first in Mexico City in 11 years and by a matchup Sunday between the New England Patriots and Oakland Raiders at the city's famed Estado Azteca, with another game planned for next year. Mexico's proximity to the United States and a developing middle class fluent in American culture, not to mention innumerable cross-border ties, make it a market with unfulfilled potential for American sports leagues. The NBA, too, has a serious eye on Mexico, with two regular season games to be played here in December and its commissioner, Adam Silver, professing interest in adding a franchise in Mexico City. Formula One, for the third year, staged a prominent race here in October, and Major League Baseball has plans to hold a three-game series between the San Diego Padres and Los Angeles Dodgers in May in Monterey the first regular season games in Mexico in 19 years. The leagues are finding that these big events carry a cachet that Mexicans, regardless of their level of interest in the sport, are willing to pay for. There is a social effect, and one of not wanting to miss the big event in the city, said Rodrigo Latour, an independent sports marketing analyst. In that regard, a lot of attendance is guaranteed. Both NFL games, in a stadium with a capacity of 72,000 for American football, sold out in less than an hour, the average price was $95. On Primero YDS programs, the complicated discussions and debate that occur in the United States over concussions, domestic violence, racial protests by players and whether the sport is in decline take a backseat to full-throated dissections of Philip Rivers's floating passes and Blake Bortles's interceptions, and whether the Rams can play with the big boys of the NFC. Here in Mexico they like sports, but they don't like to talk about what surrounds sports, said Harada, 32, who worked in public relations and sports journalism before beginning the site to satisfy his own demand for saturated NFL.